Hey there, all you pod people. This is Timothy Cakes. And Brant Wolf. And you have just stumbled on Tim and Wolf's Puff, Puff Life. Life. Finally got that one right. <laughs> so, uh, today, uh, this show is basically just a, uh, what do you call it? Intro, Intro to pipes, I guess. To pipes and, and cigars, tobacco. tobacco in general. Uh, kind of a review on some of the stuff that we like to smoke in that. And if you're interested in smoking, we're just kind of giving you the basis of what we prefer and what we liked when we started so that you can have a, a mild opinion on what you want to start with. Uh, right uh, today we're doing a pipe review. So we're smoking our pipes with uh, uh, different tobaccos. Uh, last show, if you didn't listen to it, uh, we were doing the Grim Reaper review, and we both loved those, didn't we? Yeah, the Grim Reaper cigar was most excellent. We both really, really enjoyed that a lot. That, and we touched up on what the type of cigars there are, and and what some of the flavors that you can get from cigars. But today we're going to talk about pipes, and types of pipes, um, the styles of pipes, and also uh, the types of tobacco that you're using in pipes and and the flavors but before we continue on that one let's let's uh give out this little disclaimer we're we're not professionals at all we're not experts in the field we're just have our opinions yep we're just two guys who like to do this for fun maybe try to pass on a little bit of knowledge and info to the rest of you people yeah, maybe mess up a few podcasts while we're at it. Yeah, possibly. Um, a big inspiration to us, and I love doing the shout out for it, is Tim and Bradley's uh, cigar reviews, or yeah. it's now called TNT. TNT Cigar Review. Yep, and that's on YouTube. And we're going to be eventually posting these on YouTube for you guys, for you to listen to and enjoy. Um, yeah. Um, really quickly though, before we get any farther in, I have to say something first. Um, our last podcast i actually messed up my instagram handle a couple of times so i want to put that straight right now if anybody wants to reach me on instagram look at the different posts i put i'll i'll put our our pipes and different tobaccos and maybe the different cigars that that we smoke up on there and also some of our adventures that we have while we're smoking um my instagram handle is uh, you can find me at the Celtic Viking 22. Again, that's at the Celtic Viking 22. So that is, I promise, 100% the correct Instagram name. Yep. And on top of that, you can either contact us that way or contact us by my personal email address. It's uh, Tim Case. To, or sorry, timk17 at gmail.com. Um, I'm also on Twitter now, so you can throw Twitter posts at me telling me I suck or whatever. Um, and that's at Timothy Podcasts on Twitter. So, what are you smoking today through your pipe? Uh, today, uh, I am having a bit of Black Cavendish. This is a uh, pretty pretty common tobacco you could find this at any smoke shop tobacconists um some gas stations might even have this as well um it's a nice dark tobacco it is uh pretty much black in color and it's very earthy rich um sometimes with some of the black cavendishes uh, depending on what brand you get or uh, where it came from, will have some slightly different uh, added flavors to them. I've I've heard of some um, vanilla being thrown in there. I've heard of some like some rum being thrown in there, uh, but for the most part, it's just a nice dark, earthy, rich black tobacco that you can find pretty much anywhere. Mm-hmm. And I'm smoking. Uh what's called Carter Hall. It's a name brand tobacco, kind of like Red Cap and, and some others like that. Uh, I think Black Sales name of another one. And this one you can get at any 
any store, sometimes grocery stores, gas stations. It's a very basic tobacco. Um, it's a company made or out of Pennsylvania, um, and they started back in 1862 or 1850, 1856. That's what it was. Let me go find it here real quick. Yeah, they're uh, they've been around for a while now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 1856. There you go. 1856 for the Carter Hall. And I decided I wanted to try this because it's something that everybody can find. Like the Black Cavendish. If you go to any smoke shop, you're going to find Black Cavendish. You're going to find Black Cavendish. You're most likely uh, going to find Carter Hall. Uh, Red Cap's another Red Cap. One. Uh, I've tried yeah. Red Cap before, and yeah. I'll do a later review on Red Cap in the future. Yeah, you'll always um, be able to find the big... Big brand, common tobaccos at any smoke shop, gas station, tobacconist. Exactly. And one thing that surprises me about uh, Carter Hall is that it, it's a blend. It's a blend of Virginia and uh, Burley tobaccos. And Burley tobacco is famous for having a, to, a flavor, but without that tongue bite. Right. And we talked to you last week about... Uh, uh, tongue pipes bite. having tongue bite and uh, some cigars as well, but mostly uh, tobacco from a pipe that you'll get that from. Exactly. Um, also, really quick, just so everybody knows, this is Tim's first time trying this Carter Hall. Yeah. He's never had this before. So when I read on the package, no tongue bite, like it, it surprised me. I'm a person that knows there's tongue bite in pipes, and so I practically told Brant here, like, challenge accepted. I'm going to try to see if I can get a tongue bite out of this. Yeah. And so far, no tongue bite at all. Not even, like, at first light up. So really? it's, it's doing good. The, the issue that I have with it is I like to have flavor with my smoke. And uh, I'm getting, like, it, it is very mild, bland flavor okay. that you're getting from it. And, you know, I think... Um Something that I've heard is you get a lot of tongue bite when you get flavored tobaccos. Something with a process to infuse the tobacco with a certain flavor mm -hmm. also adds to the tongue bite of it. So if you're not really getting a whole lot of flavor in there, that might have something to do with the no tongue bite. Uh, that too. And, and that and it could be the type of tobacco as well. Right. Uh, Virginias do have a little bit of a tongue bite for it. Uh, the Black Cavendish, it's actually how it's made. And that's how it was. I was looking it up online, and that's how they were saying it, is it was how it was made. Yeah. It gets at that tongue bite. Um, and Burley, like the one that I'm smoking right now, has, like, almost no tongue bite. Uh, like I said, I'm not getting any tongue bite. So, like, if that's... you're new into smoking... That would pipes. probably be a good, good find way to one go. that has Burley or even Carter Hall. Uh, not that I'm sponsored by him or anything, <laughs> you know. But. Pick up a pack of Carter Hall to try it out, um, and and get a smaller pipe. Uh, a lot of people that I've seen that smoke Carter or Carter Hall uh, smoke it in smaller pipes, like corn cob pipes or like really small pipe or small stemmed pipes. Right. Uh, maybe that's why I'm not getting the flavor is because I'm not smoking it in a small pipe. Yeah, both of us today are actually uh, smoking out of our brand new church wardens that we just got. Um, so far, I'm loving this new pipe. Um, I know, Tim, you said that you're loving yours as well. Oh, yeah, um, it, it's beautiful. I already smoked one thing out of it. Um, it's kind of a tradition I like to do. If I get a, a pipe, I do what's called, or what I call a christening of the pipe. Yeah. And, yep. And I usually get, like, a good tobacco uh, from where I bought it to christen the pipe. Yeah. Or, like, a nice tobacco, like, tobacco blends that the yeah, smoke not, shops or the tobacconist will have. Right. Not necessarily one of those big, common name brand tobaccos. Uh, more... Um, uh, um, what what am I trying to say here? One of those um, special blends that every smoke shop has. Every smoke shop or tobacconist will have their own 
blends and flavored tobaccos that you might not be able to find anywhere else. And so it's always nice to christen a new pipe with one of those, um, with one of those tobaccos. The, uh, those tobaccos generally tend to be a little bit nicer than your average big name brand common tobaccos. Um, something else I was going to say really quick. Uh, like I already said, these are church warden pipes that we're smoking out of today. And for those of you who might not know what a church warden is, it is a really long pipe. It is 11 inches at least in length. Um, that's how long these particular ones are. These are some nice Italian briarwood church warden pipes. Mm. And so far, I am loving it. Oh. Which gets to what we're wanting to do today is telling you what type of pipes there are, and and things like that. Uh, we'll we'll start with uh, kind of the shapes of pipes. Um, as you know, all pipes will have a bowl, and that's where you put the tobacco. Or if you're into smoking weed, that's where you put your weed. <laughs> um, and then you have uh, the thing that connects to the stem. I'm trying to remember what's that called the bend of the pipe I, I usually call it but um but then afterwards you have the stem of the pipe and the stems where the mouthpiece is and where uh you start smoking your pipe from and uh the bend of the or the stem will either come in three types of bends it'll have a a, a straight a white bend or uh, what I call a harsh bend. Um, but it's also depending on how the bend of the, the connection between the bowl and the stem is. Um, the types of pipes that there are out there, um, there's the briar pipe, and everybody makes briar pipes because um, it's the most common wood to make with the pipe. Right, it's a it's a nice harder wood that can withstand the heat that it will be put through. Mm -hmm. And they make those where uh, they cure the wood. Yeah. So that you're not burning the wood immensely yeah. as you're smoking. Yep. Uh, the next one is called a corn cob pipe. And it's it was first made in America uh, in Kentucky. Uh, was it Kentucky? No, I think I'm wrong on that one. Nevertheless, it's the first pipe made in America where they pretty much take a corn cob, hollow out part of the corn cob, stick in a wooden stem, and then put tobacco in it. Which, uh, my thought is, like, a farmer was really hankering for tobacco, and he must have broke his pipe and said, look, I'm improvising. <laughs> uh, the other one is called a church warden and uh, uh, Brant just told you what church warden is it's a very long stemmed pipe um, but that could be made out of anything the briar whatever um, there's also synthetic pipes yep. which is using uh, a synthetic type of like a, a polymer, material polymer polymer type and material there's also ones called uh, uh, metal pipes um most of the time, they try to use a metal that won't heat up when you have the bowl in, or the bowl itself is more synthetic, where the stem is metal. Um, those you'll more look at, like people that uh, smoke weed tend to use, is like a bowl that, right. or a glass type yeah, of pipe. There's also the glass pipes. Um, there's also clay.